What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable54 here with another Dual Masters opening. And today I finally have a Dual Masters booster box, and it is going to be DM4 Shadow Clash of Blinding Night. So this box is indeed German, and it's German because there wasn't really any other choice. The English ones are too rare and too expensive. All of the DM boxes really. There was actually an English an English booster box of this set recently uh, in an auction, but it just went way too expensive. I uh, got this German one, and the dumbass idiot seller annoyed me. He basically shipped it in the most bare-bones way he could have. I mean, I freaking paid 133 euros for this anywhere, so it's not exactly cheap, even the foreign ones. And he just basically threw it in a box and then shipped it. And then the other fuckers at the post office also opened it up, and they just told me, I told them, why the fuck you, you guys opened it? Um, we just opened it two times, he said. So, very annoying. It is kind of fucked up, you guys can see. But anyways, it is this um, Shadow Clash Lightning Knight at the end of the day. And I know most of the cards, what they do in this set. That's why I decided to just go for it. A lot of the cards is just uh, simple effects. Uh, I mean... Even if it's German, I know what the cards do. So anyway, let's just get to it finally. Open it like this. I guess let's, let's get rid of the shrink wrap anyway. So, get rid of this shit. And that's the box. Pretty beat up. But you actually get a lot of uh, good cards in this set. So, shit. I guess it doesn't... Can't really flip it with the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon ones. Anyway. Take out the fucking cards. And here are the packs. So this is supposed to be like the light and darkness sort of a set, you could say. And a lot of the other civilizations support dark and light, uh, that sort of thing. The first Dual Masters product I got was the Shadow Clash tin, English one. So it's kind of cool. What I want to get from this set is like the cheap blocker, um, Aqua Guard, because he's great. There's the puzzle cards, and yeah, German cards, but whatever. Uh, this is called, um, well, I don't remember, but it's a sort of a nature sword. It's in the DM, uh, the tents too. It's like for each uh, nature dude or light dude, uh, your creatures get attacked anyway. You got... Um, Aqua, I forgot his freaking name, but it's basically um, shield trigger blocker, and that that's all it is. It's a blocker and a shield trigger creature. Water. It's also good. It'd be good if we get a few of these. Uh, Soul gulp. This is what it's called in English. I remember this. Uh, not good. And this dude, I don't know what he does, but anyway. Then we got another card that I don't remember what does exactly but it can't be good uh, then you got the pp koopy it says I think this one just gives a, a thousand to all um, dragons or something or draconoids I don't know anyway and there it is Sirius vizier of uh, something uh, another card that is good to get from this set it's basically like emerald grass but it's an initiate and it means you can make some different combinations to your deck. It's basically a light blocker for 2 mana, 3,000. Good card. So, yeah, a lot of the cards, like I've said, this is another dude. It's a Kamikaze Shield Trigger creature. Just 2, two mana fire. So, this is why I decided to just go for it and get the set, even if it's German. And I don't know German. It's just to get the cards. So, this is the purple, purple piercer. And man, these cards sort of feel kind of flimsy. Anyway, Purple Piercer, I like this card. It can't be blocked by light creatures, and it can't be attacked by light creatures. And there's another one that does the same shit for darkness. Uh, got Torkun, another card that we wanted to get from this set. Basically, all of the shield, cre all of the shield trigger creatures, um, they come in here, basically. So this is a Beast Folk dude. 1,002... To mana shoot, shoot trigger. So yeah, lots of cards. 
the super rares slash secret rares. I honestly don't care for them. Uh, we're probably going to get like three, I think. That's the ratio for booster boxes. Uh, but I don't really care for them. What I want to get is like the shield trigger creatures. And uh, this guy is another good card. Iris. Uh, five mana. 9,000. And it can attack players, but it's very strong. And it can attack darkness untapped creatures. There's one for dark too. Giga Bulver. Uh, this dude again. Uh, this dude, I don't know what he does. Kamikaze. Okay, there it is. Aqua Blocker. Aqua Wash. Washe in German. But it's essentially like um, marine flower, but it's liquid people. So it makes excellent fodder for like the Crystal Paladin and uh, Crystal Lancer, which are probably the best evolution for water in the English sets we got anyway. So one mana, 2000 blocker, very good. Another Vizier, that's great. And Skeleton, the Revealer, I think is called something. This card, I want it to be good because it's a way to get Darkness cards, like Living Dead from your discard pile, your graveyard. You basically play it and you can grab a Living Dead from the graveyard. So it's a recovery card, it's a plus one, you could say. But it's very weak, at least if it was 3,000 for 4. Because most of the living dead creatures are pretty ass, so... Anyway... We got... Um, uh, yeah, this is another shield trigger creature. Gets 1,000 for every prize you have, every shield you have. Man, I'm, I'm so all over the place. Thinking of Pokemon. Uh, don't really like it, but there's another shield trigger creature. I like Torcon better. And then, uh, whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> anyway. When it comes to, like, very rares, Alcadius is the one I remember from this set. That's actually very good. Angel Command Evolution. It's very powerful, but you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of... Um, uh, well, not sacrifice, but you will have to spend resources. It's an angel command evolution. Uh, Photoside. This is like the Iris dude. 9,005 kills and tap light creatures. Uh, Fool, see, whatever the fuck. And Locomotiver. Shield trigger creature. Play this down. You can uh, discard an opponent's card in hand. Very, very good. Makes one of the base set dudes uh, obsolete. You got uh, Milius, the whatever the fuck uh, dude, it's a blocker, anti darkness card. You, Colon, very good. Colon the Oracle. Shield creature, shield trigger once again. You tap something like Miel. And this guy too, Starlight Tree. Uh, Shield Trigger, that's it. Got this set for the Shield Trigger dudes. And uh, some of the other anti light darkness cards. Shadow Moon, the Curse of Shade, is a good card from this set to get. Hopefully, we get like a playset of those too. Come on. Sword again. Moonlight, um, I don't remember. Locomotive, like the fire, darkness sword. Kalan, Kamikaze, there it is. Uh, the Cur Shadow Moon the Cursed Shade, I think it's called. It gives all of the other darkness creatures on the field 2,000. So if you get two of these out, then each one will power up the other one, so they can become like 5k each. But you're going to power up all the other darkness creatures too. So in Mono Darkness decks, it's a great card. You got this dude. If you have a darkness creature out, it comes 4,000. And uh, this light spell again. Okay.
Magma Rex. So this guy, shield trigger once again. And when you play him, it kills all of the other creatures with a thousand or less. Oh fuck. So Alcad, yes, there it is. So this is a very rare card. It's probably the best one from the lights in here. Uh, Evolution on Angel Command, Double Breaker, and uh, your opponent can't use any, I think, any sort of spell cards that aren't light. And that includes shield triggers, that includes hard casting them, so it's extremely good. It's just difficult to use because it's six, it's an evolution, and it has to be Angel Command, so the smallest Angel Command is like five, I believe. So no matter what, you have to spend resources to get this out, but it's a phenomenal card looks cool as well so good pull you got mongrel man I have enough of these but it's another good card of this and mysterious in this set this dude you aqua blocker great shadow moon great you and then aqua I think it's called aqua fuck it's not the aqua surfer I don't remember aqua aqua dude anywhere Shield, trigger, creature, that's liquid people. Also kind of a staple in those uh, evolution water decks with Crystal Lancer. Shit. That was bad. I moved the damn camera anywhere so I think this is called well I don't remember you full can't use shield triggers of darkness that's his effect and then I don't remember his name but this is a cool card I wish it was a bit better but each light spell and creatures cost two more Blasto, Gregorian Warm, Darkness, Shield Trooper Creature, 3000, and you again, good, you, you, and Exploder, Exploding Cactus, if you have a light creature, it becomes 4000, okay, so this set is actually quite short, it's not like the base set, um, it's just 60 cards, so I think we should get everything, we open all the packs from this box, like minus, like maybe all of the very rares and, and like the super rares and shit. So this is the smiling fish or something. And uh, looks like we got another very rare. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't remember what this guy does, but I don't think it's good. It's it's double breaker, I can tell that from the double, do, double breaker, whatever. But I don't remember what else he does. I think maybe he doesn't get like... Um, no, I think when you play him down, you can kill like a creature with 4,000 or less. Something like that. Um, anyway, got another very rare. Uh, let's see. Golden. And, okay, not much. Dude, you mystery. This is an extremely broken card. I mean, Mongrel Man is good, but this is definitely better, much easier to use because it's just you basically summon creatures and you generate cards. It's basically like card to save return for Yu Gi Oh! A million times more broken though. Uh, but, anyways, uh, Colin the Oracle, Piercer, you. And you good. I 
get another very rare. So this is the dude like on the pack Trox general of uh, whatever the fuck. I mean, he's very expensive to play, and his attack is just all right at six thousand. And uh, basically, when you play him, like your opponent has to discard a card for each of your darkness creatures, I think, something like that. So it's not the greatest effect, if you ask me, because by the time you summon this dude, your opponent might not even have a hand. I mean, I'd rather play other darkness creatures of this sort of mana, like that expensive. Okay. And we get another sweet card. This is like the equivalent for Shadow Moon, Curse the Shade. It's going to give 2,000 to all other light creatures. But it's also a double breaker. Uh, much more expensive, but it's got good stats for like being 7, uh, being a double breaker. Uh, 6,000, and it gives other light creatures the 2,000. It's just more difficult to get out. Cursed Moon is just easier because it's cheap. You want to get that sort of effect quick. I mean, by the time this dude comes out, it, it's it's much more complicated, but still a good card, I'd say. You another colon, um, whatever the hell this thing is, I don't remember. Torcon, good. Goblin and cactus. So I think by now we've probably seen all of the. Standard cards, I guess. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but... Okay, so here's the one we haven't seen. I don't remember what it does, but it's like a nature card. Mystery is locomotive or good. Glen, you, Gregorian Worm, excellent. Aqua Vehicle. So you guys can see how many shield triggers are in here. And it's basically why I got it, the biggest reason. Because these shield trigger creatures are quite important in like the decks you're going to use. Like Torcon is important in nature decks if you're going to use the Beast Folks. Uh, Aqua, Aqua Guard, same thing for water. Um, and then the other dudes too. Mongrel Man don't remember what is it is. I think it's called Cyber something, but I don't remember. Cyber Cluster, or I think that's actually the uh, sort of creature category. Torcon, card. Sort of speed up a little bit. Damn, I'm already at 18 minutes. Kind of screwed up with this opening there. Okay, another new card. This dude, I don't remember what it does, but I know it's a double blocker. Uh, a double breaker. Okay. seen this before. Great if we can pull this guy. Now this guy is a very rare. That's actually, or a super rare. That's actually quite cool. Balam, uh, Master of Darkness, I think. Play him down, and you kill everything that's not dark. Is this? I think this card is shiny. So we got the other fire. Sort of uh, very rare, or maybe it's like a. Yeah, it's a very rare. Um, okay. Mongrel Man. Oh, 
lot of packs left, damn it. I don't want this to be like over 20 minutes, but I think we're gonna fail. It's already 20. Uh, another Alcadius. That's a bit strange. But got another one. I'm trying to hurry, but it doesn't help if these packs take forever to open. Okay, and then there's this dude. I know what it does. This guy basically becomes a shield when it dies. So it's kind of good. I mean, it's a very broken effect actually. But they balanced it out by being 5 mana, only a 1000. So it's very weak. Uh, okay. The rest we've seen. I think by now it should be good when it comes to like place it for the cards that I wanted. Marino Mancer. Okay, so I'm not a fan of this card, but it's good. Uh, let's just say that if you use it in like. Um, multi-civilization decks. I think you play this and then you reveal I think like five cards or something. You can grab all the non water cards that are in there. It's something like that. But it's supposed to be good. Uh, not a big fan of it, but it's supposed to be good. Uh, you, you, all of the dudes. And how many packs we got left? Like I think six left. So, a decent number. Well, give me a Belom at the very least, and I think we'll, I'll be happy. We got everything that we wanted to get. Oh, right, this bitch, too. So, Gre Gregoria, um, she's basically like a Dark Lord. It's supposed to be like a chick Dark Lord. Powers up all the demon commands with 2000 and also makes them blockers. So, very sort of a multi-purpose effect, but making the dudes blockers also means they can die easily to shit like um, Critical Blade and stuff, and uh, Scarlet Sky Terror, so it's, I mean, not a fan of it, but it's something. And fuck me, we get a Secret Rare slash Super Rare, I think this might be the first one, unless the other Fire Dude was as well first dude. So this is an evolution creature, nature, it probably does some stuff, I just know it's a double breaker, 9006 mana, probably does something with mana too, um, but who knows. Don't don't remember like the, the ones in Rampage, at least I, I know about them, even though they're not so great either. Anywho, uh, the rest, we know what's up. Another new dude, Chaos something. I'm guessing this is like um, Armored Wyvern. Um, okay, something we didn't pull. Fucking. Okay, so normally I would be more excited, but it's because these cards are German. But yeah, this is an amazing pull. It's probably the best pull from this set. Balam, Master of, um, of Death, I think. It's also an evolution. It's very similar to Arcadius. It's it costs a lot, 8 mana, and it's an evolution too. And the smallest uh, demon command is 5 mana. I think, yeah. So basically just like um, the Alcadius. Very similar. Slightly weaker and costs more mana, but I mean, it's just a broken effect. You play this down, every non-darkness creature dies. So it's extreme. Doesn't matter how much attack they have, whatever effects, they just die. So, it's considered to be a very good darkness card. It's also quite cool. I know like the English versions are very expensive on eBay. Uh, this probably not so much, like the German one, but who knows. So a nice pull, I guess. Uh, since I know what it does, I can use it. 
that's basically the effect. Uh, evolution, when you play this down you kill everybody and it's a double breaker. Okay, nice, nice. So I can't really complain, I suppose. We got what we wanted. Everything else is extra. And, okay, another card we didn't get, like a regular water rare. And then everybody else we have. This bitch again. Two packs left. Okay, the last one, Alcadius. What do you got for us? And just a normal rare. Oh, we get a rare, a very rare too, for the nature. And the rest, it's the stuff we got. So, let's look at my pulls real quick. All of the uh, hollows, you could say. So these guys, I know they're the very rares. And uh, this dude is too. So we got three of the super rares slash secret rares from this set. I think it's a good combination. I got Balam Darkness. This I think is kind of good, but I don't remember its effect. Kind of cool. Uh, this guy I don't give uh, a lot of shit for, but it is what it is. Good, good stuff. And then I think it should be like five uh, rares. Very rares. Yeah, that's right. So we got double Alcadius. Um, it's all right, I guess. It's a great card. Uh, the Trox. Okay this flower thing, and then this fire dude. So, considering that I mainly got this to get like the common stuff, show through the creatures and shit, uh, I'd say it's good success. Got Balam too, got Alcadius. Um, can't complain. So this is the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Even if it's German, or maybe you know German so you can read the cards. But yeah, uh, Shadow Clash of Lighting Night. Uh, subscribe to the channel for my usual Pokemon TCG stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to make any more Duel Master openings. It depends on what I can find, what I need. Um, I got those Rampage uh, packs in the UK. So it's probably going to be a while before I can get to them and open them. But for the most part, I think we're kind of done with Duel Masters openings for now anyway. So subscribe, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What's up?